The Ravens are sitting at the top of the AFC North right now. Um, they're coming off a Thursday night football win against the Bucks, And then you look at the New Orleans Saints. They're coming off of a huge victory. And I mean huge against the Raiders. They shut them out 24 to nothing. I feel like the Saints and Tank, I don't know if you feel the same way. They're an underrated team right now in the NFL. They rank fifth in yards per play. The teams ahead of them are the Bills, the Chiefs, the Dolphins, and weirdly the Lions are up there too. Um, they're also in the top one of the top teams in the league at this point, third down conversion rate. I know the Ravens are good offensively, but I feel like the Saints aren't necessarily getting the love that they deserve. They're the two and a half point underdogs here. Is there a way they upset the Ravens in this spot? I mean, it's interesting. I, I want to see exactly what that injury report looks like once we get to Sunday, but the Saints shut down a Las Vegas Raiders offense that's pretty good, has a lot of talent on there without Marshawn Lattimore. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's their best cornerback. And Devontae Adams really didn't do anything. And then we just saw yeah. Alvin Kamara just come out and just smack. Like, he had one. I mean, we had a lot of blow-up games in the NFL last week, but Kamara's one definitely stood out, given the fact that I expected this game to be a shootout. And then there was, like, nothing that showed up on the Raiders' side of all. It was just pure dominance by the New Orleans Saints. And just the way that they closed it out at the very end, just to make sure they sealed the deal, the shutout for Dennis Allen, who was the former head coach for the Raiders. That was just like, okay. Like, it seems like the Saints just kind of flipped that switch, and it was like, yeah, they were just all in that bag in that matchup against the Raiders. And so now they have to play a Baltimore Ravens team that, like we said, improved. Now you have a guy like Roquan Smith who's going to be roaming the middle. They hope they can give him mm – -hmm. they hope that uh, he can give them, like, some Ray Lewis-type vibes for that defense that's – you know, giving up a lot of points and spurts here. But um, we don't know if Gus Edwards is going to play. More than likely not because of that hamstring. But Kenyon Drake filled in well, and he's like an explosive player who can get big chunks out with the running game and also catch some balls out of the backfield. Not sure what's going to happen with Mark Andrews, but Isaiah likely, like, came in and balled out. And, like, I think he was a huge factor in them being able to pull off that game against Tampa Bay. And also Demarcus Robinson, like when you lose Rashad Bateman, he stepped up, made some plays, like some run after catch that really impressed me because we're used mm -hmm. to Duvernay being that guy. So even though the Ravens are dealing with some injuries in some key positions, I feel like the guys who filled in for them really didn't miss a beat. So I expect this to be a fairly competitive game. I think both of these teams should be able to score some points uh, because both of these defenses get a little lax at times. Um, so where we're looking at a Baltimore – New Orleans over under at 48. Um, mm -hmm. They're playing in the dome. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably, I'd probably go at the over here. I really don't know who's going to win this game. I see Baltimore minus two and a half. I really don't know how that's going to pan out, but I'd probably go at the over in this one just because I feel comfortable in what both of these teams are doing off of the side of the ball and also understanding that Andy Dalton could probably throw you some. It, on occasion, Lamar can throw you something. So if you get like a defensive touchdown, that only adds to the totals as well. So turnovers and offensive explosiveness, factoring all those in, like, yeah, the over seems like the play. Yeah, I actually really do like the over in this spot. If you are leaning the Saints, the Saints are 0-4 against the spread, Jared, in their last four Monday night football games. Do they maybe wow. break that cold streak that they've had over the last four in prime time on Mondays? They certainly could. I, I think – this is my favorite game of the week from an entertainment standpoint, because I, I think you have a Ravens team that is maybe, you know, gravitating towards that upper tier contender in the AFC now after the Roquan Smith move and with Lamar mm -hmm. hopefully settling in a little bit again, banged up offensively. That seems to be a broken record for the Ravens, but if they can overcome those injuries, I really like this Ravens team to maybe not win the Super Bowl, but certainly be in a game against Buffalo or Kansas City in the divisional round and make things very interesting. On the other mm -hmm. side, the Saints, they're looking right now in their division standings and they're like, why not us? We got a great defense. We have a veteran quarterback. And mm -hmm. Andy Dalton's numbers, I'm looking at him right now. He's a top 10 quarterback in efficiency. So it's not like he's the reason that they're not winning games. You could say some defensive injuries and some inconsistencies there. And, of course, the injuries on the offensive side of the ball with Michael Thomas and you want to get Jarvis Landry back. But Chris Olave has been good. Tank mentioned Alvin Kamara's ball. And so I am very excited to watch this game. Interconference game on a fast track in New Orleans. Prime time. Should be a great atmosphere. You know, little Lamar Jackson college vibes playing in New Orleans, right? So I, I'm excited to see what 
we get here, what kind of game this is. If I had to pick it, I would lean Saints at home if you get three. If you can't get three, mm. I'd probably pass on the side. And I agree. I, I'd like to see maybe betting from my heart perspective this game be a little more higher scoring because I think it has a chance to have some has a chance to be an instant classic if we get one of those games. But I, I would lean to the over for sure. And I I, I kind of hope the Saints win because I want to see the Saints win the division. Four to one. I might yeah. bet the Saints to win the division this week at four to one. That might not be a bad wager to make considering Tampa Bay struggles and Atlanta being really bad defensively.